Okay, so what we've got at the moment is we have an inlet pressure about uh, two and a half bar. The flow is running 84 meter cube. Just checking that both the uh, control valves are in the open position. Now we want to make sure that the valve closes. At the moment, it's open because the manual, manual control is open. So we're going to close that. Now the valve, this is the first time this valve shut on the test bench. So it is... So now all of that flow... All that flow has been transferred to the relief line. Okay. Now, as part of the test procedure, I want to make sure the valve opens and closes. So the first thing I'm going to do is open it on the manual opener. And again, we shot straight up to 80 meter cube. So that's a pretty fast response from zero to 80 meter cube, basically as quickly as I could say it. What we're going to do now is we're going to close the valve using the manual operator. That's it. The valve is closed and the flow is transferred onto the release line. Now I've wired up one of the latching solenoids. So I'm going to energize that latching solenoid. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to energize it briefly because I want to make sure that it latches and proves that it stuck stick. So even though I gave it the briefest pulse, the latch has dropped and the valve has stayed open. So we've now gone to 80 meter cube again. Now the only way this will shut is if Ryan trips the relief lever underneath that solenoid on his side. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing on this solenoid. I'm going to give it the briefest pulse. The latch has dropped, and the valve will now go to the open position. So we're already at 80 meter cube. Now all through this procedure what we've been looking for is to make sure there's no leaks on any of the pipe work, make sure that everything's working okay. I'm not worried about a drip here because this is our connecting pipe work so it's got nothing to do with the actual valve operation and we always get a few drips on the flanges and things so we're not too worried about that. We're looking for this, leaks here and it's all clear. Now the only way, I've already took the power off, so the only way that this valve is going to close is if I throw the drip back in. Now the valve will close. That's it, shut. So we've got 80 meter cube to zero in, what, about three seconds, four seconds? 